Uncivilized Vitality and today we're going to talk about uh, the pitch kit. So I have my poncho laid out here and we're going to uh, we're going to do either a part two or later in this video, I, you know, we'll do two videos, uh, different ways to pitch a tarp. And instead of when you're out there with your tarp, uh, like on your first line, you always have your poncho, not your tarp, and you want to make a field expedient uh, shelter or a kit to get out of the sun or the weather, you can make cordage from uh, natural fibers or something or um, plant fibers, and you can weave up some cordage. It's easier if you just have some with you. And you can whittle and cut stakes, obviously, but it's easier if you have some with you. So I suggest carrying a uh, what I call a pitch kit with you, uh, or just roll it up with your poncho. And it can be super simple or super elaborate. I've got a bunch of things here in this uh, pitch kit. Obviously, you wouldn't want to carry all of it. So let's go through some of the nonsense in my uh, variety of pitch kit. Like, for instance, these are my... Uh, hammock straps uh, to attach to the tree so I wouldn't I wouldn't have those if I were just out on a, a quick day day hike now there's several components in the pitch kit let's talk first about the types of stakes to have because you could have uh, different types of stakes with you so here's a couple <clears throat> different versions these are the little ABS plastic. Uh, they come in yellow, orange, red. These are the little six inch. You can get the 10, 12 inch ones. Uh, they're ABS plastic. They're pretty good in everything except frozen ground, which here in Michigan is half the year. So they, they work really good. They're super light, uh, super cheap. Bright yellow is good. These are my glow in the dark ones. Uh, I like those. There's these little tri wedged uh, aluminum or titanium ones that have a little cord or these little notches. These are handy too, but they once they bend, they're garbage, but they're super lightweight. Um, so maybe you could use those type of stakes. You can get those, I uh, should have brought some, those just uh, aluminum stakes with the little bent hook at the end. Those are fine too. Uh, as you step up a little bit, these are my uh, favorites. These are just my folded over titanium stakes. These are great for soft ground or frozen ground. They don't bend as well. And they've got these real deep recessed hooks uh, and little eyelets. And they have eyelets all the way down. So I use those for different mounting options. And they're super light. I like those. Recently, I've been uh, running these because in Michigan, I'll use these in the winter. These are snow or sand stakes. That always comes out like sand snakes. But uh, what is that? Dune with the sand snakes? Or worms? I don't know. So these are great, a little big, little little cumbersome to carry, but in Michigan I use these probably half the year. And I just throw those into my kit and I use those to anchor down uh, in the snow or the sand or in the uh, when the ground is frozen. So you're gonna pick a stake. I suggest carrying six stakes. Uh, it gives you a variety of tie out options, four at a, at a minimum. I guess two at a super minimum. But you don't need to carry a lot of stakes. What I typically will do uh, is carry these four larger aluminum stakes or or these four and then i'll carry a couple of the little glow in the dark stakes as well i can use these for toggles or if i need a, a fifth and sixth stake to maybe set out my the long end of my poncho i would use those so you want to have between six and eight stakes with you i usually just have six the next thing in your pitch kit you absolutely have to have is a pre-tied uh, or or a predetermined ridge line which nine times out of ten the best bet's just going to be a big hank of paracord just a long chunk of paracord i've got a, a bowling pre-tied in the end and i've got a ranger band wrapped around this one it was holding it to my stakes this big chunk of paracord there's about um, 50 60 feet i think 60 feet here and i've got one end pre-tied with a loop right I just have a bowling in the end of that. So I can grab that. I've got that hanked up in the infinity coil that we use, uh, an uncivilized vitality. You can check out that video. I can loop this around a tree, uh, drop one of my stakes in as a toggle, or pick up a small stick as a toggle, run my ridge line, and either suspend from or fly my tarp over the ridge line. So you have to have uh, a ridge line and six to eight stakes. That's the main part of your pitch kit. Now, some additional things in your pitch kit. Um, if you don't have cordage or grommets uh, already set up, can you see those? Cordage or grommet already set up or tied to the corner of your poncho or tarp or some little tie-out tabs, you're going to want some extra cordage. Bank line is fine. 
Uh, another hank of paracord that you want to, that you can cut up is also great. I also carry some smaller diameter cordage as opposed to all paracord. Uh, very strong, it's like micro cord, uh, the smaller size paracord. This works great. It's smaller, takes up less room, and it helps uh, helps with the tie outs or, or different configurations for a, for a shelter. So ridge line, six to eight stakes, and then an extra hank of cordage that you can cut up or use in other ways. Or a really good option for my for a pitch kit would be to set yourself up with some pre-cut lines. I always have four of these with my poncho. I have six of the small stakes, a, a, a hank for ridge line, and then four of these. Uh, these are about two meter cut. And these are a special kind of, it's not paracord, but it's got some reflective little nodes in it. I find that's easy to keep me from tripping over it at night. Now, if I'm planning on going somewhere where I might be in a, um, let's say a non-permissible environment for camping overnight, I wouldn't take reflective glow-in-the-dark uh, paracord. I would take something that's just black or OD green or, or brown, but I don't do that. So um, the reflective lights, your campmates don't trip over your, your setup. A hank of paracord for a ridge line, either a lot or at least, at least 25 feet, maybe even some smaller cord. So you gotta have the stakes, the cord, and then the, uh, the tie-out lines or tie-out uh, availability. Now two other things I like to have, or a few other things I like to have in a pitch kit are some pre-tied prusik loops. So these are just closed off loops. I made this of high-vis uh, yellow paracord. Just some pre-tied prusiks that helps a lot. You don't have to have them. I can always cut off my spare hank of bank line and make the prusik cords while I'm there. Sometimes uh, another thing that's handy to have pre-made in a pitch kit and again, you just sort of plan out before you're going and pace yourself. This stuff's all kind of tangled up together. I wonder if other people that do this sort of prep their videos. That would make more sense. Meh. Uh, here's just a couple. I made these these cords. It's got a cord lock on it. It's a bit of a elastic cord, shock cord. And I got some high-vis colors. And I've got a cord lock on there to slow that down, and I put one of those tactical toggles on the end. This way I can slide the tactical toggle through the end and use the cord lock to run that up to make a different sizable loop. And now I've made a smaller, um, uh, I don't know, soft shackle or a beaner, carabiner. And I can use that around my, around my poncho and stake setup, which I'll show you in a minute. I can use those to hold together, and I can substitute, substitute these in uh, for my prusik loops. I also have a couple of other uh, non-shock cord prusik loops pre-tied with some tactical toggles on it. This helps for slipping through the grommets on my poncho. I would hook up, get my uh, prusik around my ridge line, and then I can just pop, instead of tying another knot, I can just pop that tactical toggle through there and it'll hold up on my poncho uh, grommets. So that's another thing you could maybe pre-tie and bring instead of having to thread this through with a girth hitch or something. Uh, a few other items you might want to consider putting in a in a pitch kit uh, to go along with your poncho are these little S beaners. These are super handy for uh, attaching guy lines or shroud lines and hooking things up. Some grim locks or little little carabiners, mid-sized carabiners. You could put those in your kit. And then these are neat. I don't carry these too often. Um, these are little figure nine. Uh, these are by Night Eyes, little figure nine carabiners. These are super neat. I have a, uh, a few of the smaller nylon figure nines that just have an eyelet here instead of a carabiner clip. And these are great for uh, wrapping your line around. You can just hook your line around the short hook, run it behind, and then down through the toggling uh, hook, and that'll hold really tight. And then I can use this to uh, clip those off somewhere. So sometimes I have a couple of these carabiner figure nines in the kit. Uh, all sorts of extras you could add into your pitch kit, but like with everything, it starts to get out of hand with all the things you can do. Now your full full pitch kit with your tarp and your ground sheet and your bug net, um, your full camp kit, you can take that out and have a little bit more of an elaborate pitch kit. But just the one you're carrying around with your poncho for emergency shelters, I would say a couple of pre-tied uh, prusiks, 
three or four shroud lines, a small bit of paracord for a ridge line, and let's call it one, two, three, four, and then two heavy duty stakes. So six stakes. The rest of this I will throw into my bag. Actually, I won't even need these paracord. I'll use the the shock cord prusik loops and we'll set this off to the side. All right, so what you can do is you can take your poncho and fold it up to a little package. Set your set your stakes down in the middle, your paracord and your shroud lines. And roll that up. So now I've got my I've got my poncho with me in case it rains. Holding it all together, I've got a couple of these little shock cords that I could double that would double as a prusik if I had to make a little shelf. I could fold it up a little smaller. That drop right down in my drawstring bag, and now I've got my rain gear and a portable emergency shelter that I could throw up really quick, and since I have the stakes and the cords with me, I won't have to um, fashion those out of sticks and things if I'm in a hurry, like in the rain. So let's do, uh, leave some comments below on what you use for a standard pitch kit when you're out, if you're using your bug nets and tarps, or if you're a tent person. Uh, I don't judge you, I guess. Uh, you can use your tent. And um, let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, any suggestions or uh, criteria you have, I don't know, something in the comments so we can engage. And then like, share, subscribe to the channel, and then I will put up uh, another video right after this one, uh, later in the same week that this one goes up, showing you a couple of the configurations you can do with your little poncho pitch kit. All right, that's it.